Hey, I'll grab your Bibles. Let's go through the Word. So we've been studying now for a little bit in the book of Mark. You've heard a couple of us uh, get up here and, and talk. And last we heard Adam uh, digging into what happened uh, when Jesus uh, committed his life to ministry, when, when Jesus was, was baptized and commissioned and sent out by God, uh, when Jesus uh, was led by the power of the Spirit, when, when uh, Jesus went through uh, trials and struggles and temptations. And then John does, or John, Mark does what Mark is real good at. He jumps to the next thing right now. He says, after John was put in prison, Jesus went into Galilee proclaiming the good news. Now, we're going to see this a lot as we go through the book of Mark. One of uh, the most common phrases in the book of Mark is, and then immediately, uh, because that's the next thing. And, but what's so important, important about that is the reality that there is urgency with this message. There is urgency urgency with the gospel. The gospel isn't something that we wait to get around to. The gospel has to be something that is always on our lips, that's always on our mouths, that we're always running after and always trying to teach and always trying to share with someone. That's what we see with Mark. He's just trying to get to the essential reality of what the gospel is. The very next words here in verse 15, the, Jesus says, the time has come. He said, the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. Repent and believe the good news. What is the good news? The good news is that the kingdom of God is coming. It's here. We don't have to suffer through the kingdom of death and destruction and darkness like we once did without any glimmer of hope, without any glimmer of truth, because the kingdom of heaven has come. The kingdom of heaven has started because Jesus is here, because Jesus has started his ministry, because Jesus is doing his work. So please remember that as you go throughout the rest of your day. Remember that the kingdom of heaven isn't something that we get to eventually. The kingdom of heaven is right now. And you get to be a part of it if you commit your life to Jesus. If you want to know more about that, we'd love for you to call us up or get in, get in touch with us. But right now in this moment, I just want to pray with you. Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for the work that you are doing within your church. And God, I pray that we would grasp hold of the urgency of what the gospel is and the urgency of the, the reality that we need to be teaching this and sharing this, that we need to be making disciples as we are going wherever we go, that we need to be teaching what Jesus has taught us. Thank you, Jesus. It's in your holy and precious name I pray, amen. Catch you guys later.